Hello and welcome back everyone to Zenith Academy Online. I'm Shahana and I'll be your teacher for arithmetic progression and I'll be covering today uh, basic concepts and also we'll be solving some sums as well and I'll also share some important topics relevant for the to important points relevant for the topic. So let's begin. In order to first understand what is arithmetic progression, we need to look at some definitions as well. So some terms we need to understand first. First is what is sequence we need to understand. Sequence is a group of numbers arranged in a definite order following a certain rule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is this a sequence? Yes. Yes. This is because 1 then other number is 1 plus 1, 2, other number is 2 plus 1, 3, other number is 3 plus 1, 4 and so on. They are following a certain rule that is each succeeding number is an addition of the other uh, number by 1. Let's see some other examples. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now how are they in sequence? Let's understand. 1 can be written as 1 whole cube, 8 is a cube of 2, 27 is a cube of 3, 64 is a cube of 4 and 125 is a cube of 5. Since they are following a definite order and they are following a certain rule that is they are a cube of the other number, hence this is a sequence. Now we can find the other number in the sequence as well. Like now we know the other number will be the cube of 6 which is equals to 216. Hence in this way we can, uh, in this way we can find the other numbers in the sequence as well. Now for this sequence 2, 4, 6, 8. What order they are following? 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Now 2 can be written as 0 plus 2, 4 is 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6 and 8 is 6 plus 2. So we can see here each number when added by 2 is giving us the other number in the sequence. So in the other number in, the, in this sequence will be 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 2, 12 and so on. Hence, these, these are sequence following a certain rule and a definite order. Now let's understand what is progression. In order to understand what is arithmetic progression, now we first need to understand the term progression. So what is progression? Progression is a special sequence where there is a fixed relation between any two consecutive terms. Now sequence we know that they are a group of numbers following a definite order and a certain rule. Now what is progression? It is a special sequence where in the sequence there is a fixed relation between the two consecutive numbers. Now let us see this with an example. 1, 8, 27, 64 and 125, they were in the sequence we knew. Now, are they in progression? Now, 1 and 8. Then 8 and 27, 27 and 64 and 64 and 125. For any sequence to be a progression, we need a relation between the two consecutive terms. Now here there is no relation between the two consecutive terms. 1 is independent of 8 and 8 is independent of 1. So hence this is not a progression. Now in this sequence 2, 4, 6, 8 4 and 2 is related 6 and 4 is related 8 and 6, and 6 is related. How? It is 4 is 2 plus 2, 
6 is equal to 4 plus 2 and 8 is equal to 6 plus 2. Hence, when we add each number by 2, we are getting the other number in the sequence. The consecutive terms are related. Hence, this series, this sequence is a progression. So, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125 is a sequence, but each term is n cube. So, it is, there is no relation between the consecutive terms and hence, it is not a, it is not a progression. But in the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, there is a fixed relation between the two consecutive numbers. That is, each number is added by, when each number in the sequence is added by 2, we get the other number in the sequence. Hence, this is a progression. Now, let's first look at the types of progression. We have two types of progression, arithmetic and geometric. Now, today we will be learning arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression is a progression where the difference between any two consecutive terms remains constant is called arithmetic progression. Now, in the previous sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, four minus two was equal to two, six minus four was equal to two and eight minus six was equal to two. We had a common difference in this sequence. So, this sequence can be a, a, a arithmetic progression. See. 4 minus 2 is equals to 6 minus 4 is equals to 8 minus 6. Hence, this sequence is not only a progression, but this sequence is actually an arithmetic progression because we have a common difference between the two consecutive terms. Similarly, we can see the other example 4, 6, 8, 10. Here, the consecutive terms have a common difference too. Now, for an AP, always remember the first term is always denoted by A in a progression and the common difference that is here, it is 2, is always denoted by D. Now, to understand arithmetic progression, we can also look at some real life examples as well. For example, I am a salaried employee and my salary is 10,000 and I get an increment every month of rupees 500. So for the first month, my salary will be 10,000. The other month, I will get a salary of 10,500. For the other month, I will get 11,000 and so on. My salary will be increasing by 500. So this is an arithmetic progression. I have a common difference that is 500. Uh, my salary is increasing by 500 for each, each month. Another example we can look as uh, the taxi, uh, we, we hire taxi like Ola, Uber. So we have a fixed, uh, we have a fixed charge for a particular kilometers and then after every kilometer, the charges increases. So the charges are in arithmetic progression. General terms of an arithmetic progression. In general terms, an AP is always represented as a, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. Now, to understand how these terms we get, how to get these terms, let's see an example. Now we know A is the first term and D is the common difference. So, now let's take a very basic sequence example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. This is a sequence. This is an arithmetic progression as well. Here we have a is equals to 1, 2 minus 1 is equals to 3 minus 2 is equals to 4 minus 3 is equals to 5 minus 4 which is equals to 1. d is also equal to 1. Now what will be our first term? Our first term as we know a is equals to 1. Now, this here second term is a plus d. So, this implies a plus d is 1 plus 1, which will give us 2, hence this term 2. So, a, this is a plus d we got. 
our third term is represented as a plus 2d which means 1 plus 2 into 1 is equals to 3 this is our answer 3 and so on this in this way we can find the terms of an arithmetic progression this is an example of a staircase this is my first step this is my second step third fourth and fifth step now in general terms if i need to write what will i write here a what can i write for 2 a plus d 1 plus 1 which means for 3 i can write a plus 2d for 4 i can write a plus 3d a plus that is 1 plus 3 into 1 and for 5 it will be a plus 4d this is actually a giving us a formula that whenever need we need to find any term in an ap like for example we need to find the fifth term what will it be it will be a plus 4d so in general term that is tn if we need to find the nth term of an ap our formula will be a plus a, this is this is 5 and this is 4 this is 4 is actually 5 minus 1 so what we can write a plus n minus 1 into d this is the very basic concept of an ap if we need to find the nth term it will it is always given by a plus n minus 1 d so now see if 20th term is we need to find in an in an ap but what we will do a plus 20 minus 1 into d that is a plus 19 d will give us the 20th term of an ap a plus n minus 1 into d is what we need to keep in our mind so let's move forward and solve some illustrations the question is find the 30th term of the sequence half 1 3 by 2 and so on now this is a sequence so first let, let us find out is this an arithmetic progression or not for an arithmetic progression we need to have a common difference so 1 minus 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus 1 will give us what 3 by 2 minus 1 is also will also give us half hence there is a common difference between each consecutive term d is equals to 1 by 2 and this is an ap now we have d is equals to 1 by 2 a is equals to 1 by 2 so can we find the 30th term yes we know the formula a plus n minus 1 into d so our n is equals to 30 so our 30th term that is t30 will be equals to a plus n minus 1 into d which will be equal to a we know as half n is 30 and d we know as 1 by 2 so now we just need to solve it hence our 30th term is equals to 50 our second question find the 100th term of the sequence root 3 2 root 3 3 root 3 and so on now first we will see uh, is this an arithmetic progression or not 
So for that we need to find out the common difference. 2 root 3 minus root 3 is equals to root 3. We will take root 3 common here which will give us 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 and hence it is root 3. 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3 we will just take the difference of 3 minus 2 root 3 will be common. So 3 minus 2 will give us 1 which is equals to root 3. We have a common difference between the two consecutive terms and hence it is an AP. So now for the nth term our formula will be a plus n minus 1d. We need to find the hundredth term. So therefore t hundred it will be equal to root 3 plus 100 minus 1 into root 3. root 3 plus 99 root 3 this will give us after solving hence the answer will be 100 root 3. So our 100th term in this AP will be 100 root 3. Moving on on our next question the find the 24th term of the sequence 12 10 8 6. Now here see the sequence is decreasing. So let's see if this, if this is an arithmetic progression or not. 10 minus 12 will give us minus 2. 8 minus 10 will give us minus 2. 6 minus 8 is also equal to minus 2. We have a common difference and hence it is an AP. Now the 24th term, we, need, we know the formula for finding the nth term that is a plus n minus 1d. So 24th term will be 12 plus 24 minus 1 into minus 2. Solving this we will get minus 34 as the answer. Since this sequence was decreasing we will get minus 34 uh, in the minus 34 as the 24th term of the sequence. Now let's see some points to remember. For an AP, if D is greater than 0, the AP is increasing as in illustration 1 and 2. The previous first two questions, we saw that AP was increasing. So it was root 3, 2 root 3, 3 root 3 and so on. That's why it was, an, it was increasing AP that, and we got common difference as a positive number. So, D was greater than 0. Now, when D is less than 0, as, as in the previous example, we saw 12, 10, 8, 6, it was a decreasing, it was a decreasing AP. So, whenever D is less than 0, our AP will always be a, always be in decreasing order. Like 6, 6, 6, 6. Now this, this can be a sequence but is this arithmetic progression? Yes because 6 minus 6 is equals to 0, 6 minus 6 is equals to 0 and 6 minus 6 is equals to 0. So this is an arithmetic progression as well. So now we know that whenever d is equals to 0 our, all the terms in this AP will be same that is if we have the sequence of this type like in where every number is where every number is same like 6 6 6 6 our d will be 0. Now our second point if an AP has only n terms its nth term that is the last term is denoted by letter L thus for an AP with first term is equals to a and common difference is equals to d and the number of terms is equals to n we have l equals to a plus n minus 1d l is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d this implies whenever we need to find the last term this will be our formula thus for an ap of n terms when we denote AP in general terms, what we can write A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on till the last term that is L or we can also write it A plus D, 
a a plus d a plus 2d we know the last term is l so what will be the previous number that is the second last the third last fourth last l minus d here it was a plus d because for the progression we were adding the common difference since we are taking it from the la uh, from the last so we'll subtract d l minus d the th uh, third last term we'll take it as l minus 2d so this was all for our today's session please keep watching as we have covered this portion in four uh, four different parts so keep watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe don't forget to watch the next parts of the chapter arithmetic progression if you like the video please comment share it with your friends and keep the learning on thank you